I've been making videos for this channel for two years and four months from my account. And this is the first review that I have ever done. Now, initially in the intro video, when I originally talked about what I was gonna be doing with my channel when I launched it back in March of 2013, I said I wasn't really gonna do reviews unless something was really, really, really good and everybody should know about it, or if something was really, really, really bad and everybody should be warned about it. And this is something that is the former, which is to mean that it's good, in case you don't know the difference between former and latter. This is Krylon Camouflage Spray Paint. Now you're saying to yourself, Adam, that doesn't seem like something that you would review. That seems sort of odd that you would review Krylon Spray Paint. Well, here's why. So this Krylon Spray Paint, and it comes in six different colors. I don't have all six of them here because three of them, I don't know exactly where they are. It comes in six colors and there's black and it's a rattle can, you can hear it. There's also a dark brown and then there's two greens. This is the lighter green, which is called Woodland Light Green. And then there's another one which is called Olive, I believe, which is darker than this. And then this is the sand and there's also a khaki. So there's two tan colors, a light and a dark, two greens, a light and a dark, a brown and a black. Now the reason that this stuff is so awesome for what we like to do, it's twofold. Number one, you can't really see it, but right here it says, made with fusion for plastic paint technology. Krylon has this technology called fusion, which does not create energy, doesn't do anything like that. What it does is it sticks to plastic like crazy. They say it sticks to the molecular level. I don't know jack about chemistry, I guess. Uh, so I don't really know if that's true or if that's just advertising hyperbole, but nonetheless, I know it sticks to plastic like crazy. And that's probably not scientific either, but just anecdotally, it sticks great. So um, this stuff is a great, in my opinion, base, a great primer. You spray it onto plastic models and it will not come off generally at all. So uh, just the straight black will work great as a primer for those types of people who like to generally prime black, frequently like myself. Here's the second thing that's awesome about this paint besides the fusion technology. It also says ultra flat. And that's because <sighs> camouflage doesn't work if it's shiny. Some things in, in nature are shiny, but a lot of them aren't. So if you have very shiny camouflage, it generally kind of draws attention, I guess. Something about the animal kingdom and uh, shininess, I guess. But the fact of the matter is, is that because it's ultra flat, which is good for um, you know camouflage in general. It is. It has a tooth to it. That's the painting term. When if you've ever tried to paint something that's super glossy, like take some, you know, watered down, um, let's say acrylic paint, and try to paint on a piece of glass, it just beads up. It can't soak in. It's not porous because it's glass. This stuff, because it's so flat, you can hear it on the the cap. Because it's so flat, the paint can soak into it. The, the primer, the spray has tooth, which is to say tiny little microscopic particles that the paint can kind of soak into a little bit. So it's a great surface to paint on top of. If you start off just with the black, you go to your local hardware store and get the black Krylon camouflage and use that as your primer on plastic models, I guarantee you, you will be happy because it won't come off and it will soak up the paint, not soak it up so that you doesn't, you have to add like 20 different coats, but it will, the paint won't bead on it. It will just be perfect and it makes a great surface. However, there's also the dark brown. If you are painting something that's gonna have a warm color to it, let's say you're painting, I don't know, let's say blood angels, they're a warm color red. If you prime with brown and then spray over with red, you can get a great kind of variation from a warm in the shadows because you want warm shadows sometimes. Um, you might want to use it with yellow. If you're doing say, something like Imperial Fists who are yellow guys, you might want to start with the dark brown and then use maybe the dark khaki as another layer and then use the yellow paint on top of that. Whether you put it on with a brush or an airbrush or maybe you put the, the yellow on with a, you know another spray can of something if you want, whatever. But there's all these different things you can do with this paint because of the way it sticks to plastic and the way that it's ultra flat. And here's the most obvious part that I haven't even mentioned yet. 
they're military colors because it's camouflage. That's what camouflage is. It's military colors. So if you're painting, oh, I don't know, let's say Imperial Guard. Either one of these colors is going to be awesome for Imperial Guard. You're doing, let's say, Chimeras or uh, whatever, the, the Lehman Rust tanks. Boom. The dark green, hit it with that, then dust it with the light green. You're basically nearly done. You put on some, you know, you paint the treads and you paint, you throw some wash on it and do a little bit of detail and you're done and it's not coming off because it sticks because of the fusion technology. The st I, can't, I cannot tell you how much I love working with this stuff. This, the khaki color, what else does this kind of look like to you? This is a great base for anything bone. If you had to paint skeletons, like a zillion skeletons for something like, you know, Warhammer Fantasy, you hit the light color, which is the sand, you hit them all with the light color. And then when you get that all done, then you dry brush them with like a bleached bone color and you're done. Maybe throw a wash on there, then dry brush them, whatever. But this is great for that. This is great for um, Tyranids. You need like the bony carapace and stuff like that. Boom, there's your base because it's your primer and your base. You don't have to spray primer on and then hit it with the Krylon camouflage. This stuff is both. It's both the primer, you'll stick to it. It's a great surface to paint afterwards on, do detail on, but it's also a base color if you play your cards right. Now, obviously, this is not a good base color for, I don't know, let's say, again, Blood Angels. They need to be red. But if you can be working on something that uses a color like this, or even a color close to this, like I said, this would, be work, would work amazing on anything, pretty much anything military. The two versions of this, the, the darker version and the lighter version. The dust, or desert, sorry, the sand color I used, I bought a Realm of Battle board years and years ago. And it sat basically unpainted until about three years ago, maybe four, when I finally took it out of the packaging and stuff like that, got it all set up and used a bunch of this and the darker version of this and spray painted it to make a, a desert board. And that stuff is not coming off. I've had that now for, like I said, probably two, three years now. And that stuff's just not coming off because this is such a great product, in my opinion. This is, again, me, my review of this stuff. Um, it's a great thing. It takes washes, right? A couple of years ago, I took some of the uh, War Games Factory uh, shock troops, is what they're called. There's like these guys in these big, thick coats with these kind of pseudo World War two kind of almost kind of German helmets and gas masks and crazy guns and stuff like that. They're a great little cheap, inexpensive model set that's got a lot of personality. I sprayed one in green and I sprayed one in tan, one of these colors, and uh, just did some detail and some wash. And uh, they turned out really, really well. Uh, I, I really like the way that these models look uh, with this. You could do a ton of stuff very quickly and, 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 and if you've been watching my channel at all, you understand that I'm constantly trying to give people tips on how to do this stuff quickly, because I'm not here to try to teach you how to win the crystal brush. Because frankly, I have no idea. I'm, I'm not that guy. I know guys who can do that, but I'm not that guy. But I can tell you how to do things quickly and how to kind of work quickly to get yourself onto the table as fast as possible. And these Krylon camouflage paints are spectacular for what you're trying to do if you're trying to speed things along and, uh, and keep your models durable. I mean, honestly, I use the black. If, if I'm going to be priming outside and I need to prime in black, I just use this even if I'm not doing any of the other colors. It's just a great black primer for painting, you know, plastic models because it sticks so well and has such a nice surface. And it's cheap. Like, I think I pay six bucks a can for this. Compare this to that stuff that GW sells in a can for 15 or $16. I'm sorry, but this stuff, these things are great. And so my review is, I don't know, five stars, three thumbs up. I don't know. It's just great. It's, it's, a, it's a positive review. I either give positive or negative. This is my first one. This is a positive review. You should definitely consider getting some of this stuff. If you have any kind of model that's going to require any kind of vaguely pseudo camo military type color, or if you're painting something that's got bone, or if you're painting a piece of terrain with sand, or if you just like to prime in black, this Krylon camouflage spray paint is without equal.